In England, uh, I like the school system a lot. Um, it's usually separated into two blocks, so we have primary school and secondary school. Primary school is from age 5 to 11, and then secondary school is from age 11 until 18. But you do have an option at age 16, so after we take our GCSEs, which are the equivalent to SATs, I guess, mm -hmm. um, you can have the option to stay at your secondary school, or you can go to a college, which is different than uh, American college. So they're huh. institutes for courses that last two years. And basically, if you know what you want to do at that age, if you're like, I want to get into media, ah. I want to get into art, you just pick like one subject and you study ah. that. And then you can get like the equivalent points and then go to university based off of that. So it just adds more variety to the system. Um, That's why mm -hmm. university and college is such a big, a different concept in yeah, mm -hmm. Britain versus Yeah, America. it kind of confuses us a bit. So. Yeah. Um, and you can go to college at any age, so it's a good starting point for people that want to get back into education after a long break, maybe. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. so, I like that better than the American system. What is yeah. the, it's better. Yeah. Yeah. What is the <laughs> American system? Uh, well, actually, I'm a really bad person to ask for this. <laughs> I can tell you the most basics, but I was actually homeschooled oh, until right, you were, university, right. oh. so I didn't I didn't go through the normal school system, which oh. is you can have pre-K, pre-kindergarten, mm -hmm. kindergarten, uh, elementary school, middle school, and then high school. I think that's similar to Korean education. Mm -hmm. And then of course college and university, you have different, I guess, degrees you could call them, you could get. Mm -hmm. So you have your certificate, which can be like a year, mm -hmm. and then you have your um, uh, Bachelor's, which is four years, and there's one in between. Let me try to think of it. Associates. Associates, thank you. You have your associate's degree, which is two years. Uh -huh. And then above that, you have your, yeah, of course, a continuing education. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry to interject, but I forgot to mention in the UK, university degrees only last for three years, uh -huh. usually. I took a gap year and then exchanged, oh, that's right. exchanged to Yonsei, so. My university life is like five years, but in general, it's three yeah. years. Ah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. a master's is only one year, so we're just like in and really? out. It's like, yeah, hello, goodbye. Yeah, oh. yeah. like get you in the workforce, buddy. Yeah, seriously. Mm. In Australia, we have the same thing. We have like pre-kindergarten, if you want to. Kindergarten primary school starts from when you're either four or five, depending on when you're born. Um, and then you're there until 11 or 12, and then you just go straight to secondary school. Um, and you're there until you're 18. I think we have something similar where you can stop when you're 16, mm. um, and then we have something called TAFE, which I've heard is of that. yeah, mm. it's kind of like you go there mm. if you want to specialize in something. You can do that after high school as well instead of university. It's normally for like trades and things like that mm. where you don't need like a three-year university degree. I do believe it was 70 to 80 was an A. Mm. And then it'd be like, yeah, 60 to 70 was a B, and then so on and so on. Mm. Uh. For the US, from what I can understand from the high school and below, it's pretty set on the curriculum. If you get a 90, you get an A, or I think that might be a B area, but if you get maybe a 92 or above, it's like an A, mm -hmm. and that's what you have to get. If you get below that, if everyone gets below that, everyone gets a B. Uh, then and what's what's like the cutoff for like, an F in America. Mm. I think it's below a 60% maybe. Oh. Is ours is at 40. Sorry, 50. not 60. 50. <laughs> yeah. 40, yeah. 50, 60. <laughs> yeah, in Australia, it's, I think, above 90% is like an A+. plus. Above um. 80 is an A. I think it's 40% is a fail. Mm -hmm. or, mm. or like, at 45%, you can kind of plead your case and then be like, yeah. please, uh, like, I, you know, yeah. I was really sick or something like that. <laughs> so, like, do you call it, because in high school we say A star, we don't have A oh, plus. We, a so plus. we don't have this, like, a plus star? and minus system, mm -hmm. but for an A, for the special kids, you know, <laughs> you get a star. You get a star there if sticker. you're exceptionally uh, smart. Uh, yeah, A star, but uh, that but, doesn't carry over to uni. Uh, Joey from Friends, how you doing? <laughs> hey, how you doing? 
<laughs> We've adopted that. <laughs> like every, every country. Uh, for me, it's just speaking. Uh, uh, yeah. Not for me, for Americans, it's just the icebreaker. So it really doesn't matter maybe what you say too mm. much, it's just walking up to the girl or the guy and using some sort of opening line. If they're reading a book, oh, what book are you reading? Mm. Uh, if you don't have anything good to say, you just say like, hey, looks like you're having fun. <laughs> don't really, say really I'm sure that's like worked that. every single uh, time. But it does because it, it does. a lot of people just respond mm -hmm. like to like, oh yeah, I'm having fun. Maybe they mm. think you're weird at first, but at least you start to have a conversation. Ah. So it's all about just that opening, mm -hmm. opening walk, especially for men. Yeah. For women, just sit down, have a drink, and wait. Yeah. But for men, you have to like go yeah. talk. Yeah. What you said is very true, and like people almost use pickup lines as a sarcastic kind of ironic. It's like a joke, yeah. yeah like, exactly. You, it's like, you know I'm not being serious. Did, yeah. you, did, you, did it hurt when you fell from heaven right. or something? Uh, Are you exhausted yeah. because you've been running through my mind all yeah. day? Ah! Uh. Like, so what are your pickup lines? Yeah. Mine. Your long list. I, I don't have any. Imagine walking to, up to two of us at the bar. And what then she say? just walks away. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. I'd love no, it. Yeah. Oh, that's great. But yeah, what about Australia? The no, it's the, it's the same thing, same like they'll just thing. like try and talk to you and your eyes are like, yeah, having a great night, you just like go away. I think Brits are pretty well known for being able to handle their drink. <laughs> we get very rowdy, mm. um, especially when watching the football. You know, it's very typical to go to a pub, you have a TV and you watch mm. the football game and everyone's just going nuts. Oh yeah, the sports bars? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, we care a lot about the head on a beer. Uh, right? Oh, if there's too much? Yeah, like if there's you too much. It, yeah. So the, the foam white foam at the yeah. top, you know, people care about that. So you need the yeah. perfect amount. I feel like it's popular to kind of just like drink at home though, like hang out with your oh, friends yeah, at like yeah. someone's house Absolutely. rather than like actually mm -hmm. going out because that it's so happen. expensive. Yeah. When you have one, two, three, exactly <laughs> one, two, three, floor. One tequila, two tequila, tequila three, three tequila, tequila, floor. floor. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, we don't talk. Um, so, <laughs> right. but I think for your like house parties and stuff, yeah, it's all about getting drunk and stuff. But for your mm. social drinking, mm. it's not so much about getting drunk as it is just just having a good time with friends, mm. yeah. um, mm. having good conversation, and uh, you know, watching football or, or soccer or whatever. Oh, you yeah. you correct the first time. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you correct the first time. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, as for the drinking culture, I think it's a lot more social yeah. but not excessive yeah uh, for the most part for the most part mm -hmm. yeah i think house parties is like a big thing especially if you're drinking underage <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey yes edit <laughs> <laughs> but i i think things stay open later in australia like really? bars might close around 2 a.m and That's then like i've stayed out at a club until like maybe four or five in the morning or oh. something like that oh wow you know when you're going home and the sun's coming up yeah. and it's like the ultimate shame <laughs> happens a lot in Korea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't litter, don't mess with like wildlife and things like that. There's places where you can't take pictures of certain like buildings. Mm. Like, oh yeah, we have Certain that. buildings? We have that. Yeah, yeah, you do? Yeah, in yeah. Some, some areas. Huh, I think. You mean like museums, inside museums and stuff? No, no, it's like government buildings or mm. things like that. There are some countries I know where it's like that, not in Australia, but. Huge thing is don't litter. Mm. Yeah. And like you can get fined a lot yeah. in the US for littering. Yeah. yeah. For anything, you have to use a trash can. Have to. Yeah. Or not get caught, one of the two. <laughs> Are there bins actually around? Oh, though? everywhere, yeah. That's one thing I noticed here is like, yeah. where's, where's all the yeah, trash bins? Yeah. Oh my God. Where do I throw yeah. my stuff? Yeah. That's yeah. kind of culture shock. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, mm -hmm. oh my God, where's the bin? I'm just holding like this, yeah. this yeah. rubbish in my hand. But as for like danger, like laws that you have to follow, I think most places are pretty lack. I know there's like a stereotype about U US policemen being kind of brutal, mm -hmm. um, which can be true, but it's mostly in speech rather than action. Mm -hmm. Unless, never mind, I'm not gonna get into that. Oh, pay attention to no trespassing signs. Oh, that the whole get off my property yeah, stereotype. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. If it says no trespassing, or no soliciting anything like that, mm -hmm. uh, just, just walk away private parks or people's property. Pay attention mm -hmm. to that in the US. 
It's okay to shoot someone who's in your property. Who is on your property in most states. Yes, that's correct. It is. Yeah. Welcome to America. Land of the free. No, we're not sarcastic. <laughs> not That's at sarcasm. all. That's not at all. That's absolute sarcasm. Yeah, we're very sarcastic. Yeah. And like we love dry humor. Dry humor. Yeah. But exactly. that's like why your television shows are the best. Yeah. Uh, it's why they're hard to kind of translate uh, like yeah. into like the American versions, mm -hmm. except from The Office. Do you like The, the office? office? You're one of those? Yes, I like The Office. Do you not like The Office? I love The Office. Oh, okay, it's good, like my, good. But some British people are like, this is the worst thing ever. Yeah. They just ruined the whole... Point, yeah. That's patriotic. how all British people sound. <laughs>